Hey guys, I am DM Zone. This is Gamers Oasis. We're going to play some Entropy Universe and talk a little bit about something called Called. Okay guys, real quick before I get to Entropy Universe, let me talk about Called. Called is an acronym C-A-L-D, which is stands for Champions Archive, my local game store, uh, Living Dungeon. If you watched my video yesterday, you have seen... Um, or two days ago, that you were seeing that I was doing, I'm doing a D&D &D campaign at my local game store, sponsored, supported by my local game store. Not financially sponsored, but uh, the ability to set up and to like own space kind of thing, like where it allowed me to keep my table there and <clears throat> that type of stuff. And, you know, it's kind of, he'll promote it type of thing. And it's not a actual campaign D&D &D game. It's sort of like, five people at random sit down and play and what they decide to do is what they decide to do so it's very open sandbox and, and explains Dungeons and Dragons to players and for the more veteran players who want to go and do something this place has things to go do the eventual goal is I'm going to have other DMs that will know this world well enough and be willing to play it or uh, run it and that type of thing and then pass off the mantle of ever being a player again and become a DM or they'll be able to play as a DM for certain parts, but they can't do other parts because they still haven't explored that and they want to be able to go do that. So I am going to kind of section this thing out type of thing with that, and then we'll have other people running the same game. Um, the characters will be kept at the store and that type of stuff, and it's kind of cool and kind of taken up a lot of my life. So I apologize for my upload schedule between that, holidays, uh, being sick, family being sick, that type of stuff lots of work people at work being sick this uh, season didn't have a, a big cold snap or anything where I live but a lot of people did get cold uh, get colds and flus and that type of stuff and of course the pandemic stuff so anyways that's been taking a lot of my time um, just wanted to kind of throw that out there if you didn't see that video go check it out um, it'll be just the one right before this it'll be in its own little section called CLAD which is uh, Champions Archive Living Dungeon or Cold, and it'll be called Living, it'll be called D and D, and I think that will have a good ring to it. So check out that playlist if you want to watch all those. I will be doing updates on how parties are doing, um, mostly by room description and pictures, and then talking about like what they fight in there and that type of stuff. Just as sort of like a fun thing for you, the viewer, if this interests you guys. And for as long as it interests you guys, I'll continue to post things on this. Um, but anyways, let's get to Entropy Universe, the game that I actually want to play. Um, Entropy Universe, as you know, is a game that I've been kind of dissecting a little bit scientifically while I play. I've been keeping a lot of track of a lot of things. This is the start of a brand new year. This is the first. It's the first sun Saturday of the month first Saturday of the year um, that synergy can't be bypassed in my opinion so I'm going to go ahead and go into depth with this uh, probably a little more um, I do tests as I go um, I'll be like okay uh, high efficiency gives you better things I believe there's a thing called skill tax I believe that the longer you kill a certain group of creatures with a certain type of weapon or low level creatures with a certain type of weapon your skills kind of get to a plateau and peak and then you start getting better loot or and this is the thing I don't know if I were to kill just menorahs and that was the only thing I killed and I got to like level 20 laser rifle killing menorahs and like level 5 or 6 uh, evasion just killing menorahs and all I've done is kill menorahs if I then go kill um Gallards on, you know, Planet Arcadia, um, would I get better loot than someone who just killed Gallards for the first 20 levels of laser? I don't know. Um, I think that's an interesting thought. Um, I can tell you it doesn't seem to be that way. It just seems to be your skills have to be at a certain point before you start getting bonus loot from these creatures and you get less skill. I've noticed that there's a peaking of my skills and I'm starting to come down how many skills I've learned and I've recently not in the videos you've watched so far but I have uh, started to get some uh, globals off of lower level creatures which I think is pretty cool 
And in this particular one, somewhere in here, I actually finally get one of the super rare to me, at least thus far, uh, pistols that drops off of the menorahs. And uh, that's really good. It, you'll see it at the end of the video. Um, but I want to get more of these, so I'm going to have to continue to kill more of these. And if I'm just now in the range of starting to get this, what I want to see is how many do I have to kill before I get the next one? And how many do I have to kill before I get the next one? And again, and again, and again. And then when I get probably five or six of these, I'm actually going to do a video that compares killing menorahs with this weapon versus killing menorahs with the Buchan, and that'll be another future test. But what also is going on with this test, excuse my nose itches for some reason, um, is I'm testing, as my skill goes up, Does do I get these super rare things like the pistol more often do i stop getting the common things does that pool shift in what I, what the range is is it a brand new player is mostly not going to get um is, is, mo is not going to get the really good stuff so like the socket ones and the uh, component ones and the hairsprays and the that type of stuff that often drops off of the menorahs will that stuff drop far less often and then as you go farther into it you get so much more of it right because you're in that range the our pistol so far along not that it's not that they're so rare is that your skill has to be so high before you're even in the range of getting this moderately rare uh pistol that it seems like it's so rare because you spent We'll say 200 ped before the first pistol drop when really if you were at skill already with a level 20 uh, laser rifle and you did this it would only take you know 5 10 ped to get a pistol drop because that's what the actual rate of drop is once you are at skill and that's kind of what i'm testing at this point in time and if that doesn't make sense i can go back into that in a different video in more detail but i think that should make sense um, another example of this is blazer fragments off of xors so i've heard um another youtuber uh talk about the fact that at his skill level he gets far more blazer fragments than people that are brand new to the game this is kind of where the inception of this idea came from uh, so my thought was okay maybe this shifting dynamic of what loot is there is happens and you know what you need is to be like level 10 or if you're only closer to 15 before you start getting more blazer fragments so i've done two 50 ped xor hunts one was when i was like i want to say skill 7 8 and the other one was about skill 12 i'm going to continue to do this and eventually when i get done i'm going to go to cali and i'm going to blow probably um two or three hundred ped killing xors so i can get as many blazer fragments as i hopefully will ever need and then we'll actually do that test we'll see if that test happens again so i have a different model uh, for the same thing that okay i've got my two base entries and i know how many blazer fragments i got there now i want to do this again and then i want to do this again and again and again and again and again and then we'll see if there's a raising of the number of blazer fragments I get as my skill goes up. And then when I get like some way day down in the future, I'm like level 35 laser rifle, I go back and I'd spend another 200 ped and see if I can find that line of where I am and how much higher it is than when I'm like level 15, which 16, 17, whatever I am right now, something like that. So, and that's kind of what I'm looking at. Um, and the, those are those are the things. And of course, then I'm going to come back to menorahs, and I'm going to test menorahs again and see how often I get that pistol drop. So there are going to be things like that, and how often I global. I've still never globaled on a menorah, by the way. I've heard it's possible, and I've heard of people supposedly getting 60 ped globals. Um, I think I'm using too efficient of a weapon uh, to do that. I've also been told, and this is something I'm going to test as well, and it, coming up in 2022, is... Um, the lesser the less your efficiency is the greater potential of globaling is however you're wasting so much so fast that generally yes you get the big globals but no you don't get profit because your profit is actually cut back because you've spent more to get there 
So one of the weapons I want to build in 2022 is called a grinder or something like that. I got it off of um, mm, Rocktopia. Uh, so I got it off of Rocktopia. I don't know what this here is. Um, maybe I got maracas or something. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to make that weapon or buy that weapon and then do some of the same tests I've already done but with that weapon. So I'm going to have the pistol it's going to go through. I'm going to do TT weapons. That's going to go through. I'm going to do the Buchan. I've already done the non-adjusted Buchan. Now I'm doing it with the adjusted Buchan. Uh, those basically, those tests are done. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and do it with, uh, like I said, the TT weapons. And I'll do it with uh, ballistic weapons versus laser weapons. And we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see if there's any differences in those. Um, and then, you know, we'll try the less efficient weapons and then the higher efficient weapons. One of the things I'm also wanting to do is I want to put enhancers on. So I want to take, uh, I'm going to find the range that is good for enhancers. I, my expectation, knowing how markets work, that the thing everyone needs is usually a higher mark up because um, everyone needs it. Um, and there's a higher demand for it because everyone has access to it. I want to see if it's not harder to make, but there's less people that want like the level three tier enhancers and that type of stuff. And if, if it's cheaper to do that and you know, it's not a build on cost base cost as well. I'm going to find where that happy medium between markup and base cost is and find the best version of this enhancer and basically put one enhancer on and then test that and see if enhancers are worth it. So I'm going to drop probably a hundred ped into enhancers and then see if I get that hundred ped back. Um, see it, how long it takes for me to go through a hundred ped of enhancers. See if this is something I want to do. Um, and I'm going to do non markup uh, 100 ped worth of enhancers than what the actual cost is so i can make it myself for base cost and then if i were to have someone else make it this is what it would cost and is that worth it because i'm going we'll get into that that's going to be a, a series of videos uh moving out into the future um lastly um and i haven't really talked about this i've actually been a big component proponent of not uh getting deeds it doesn't fit my play style um i have a uh i was given a deed um it was a an arcadia underground deed which ranges anywhere depending on when you look at it from like 60 to 100 ped i think 60 is maybe the more current run and 100 ped was maybe last year or so i don't know if it's a downward turn i haven't actually looked to see what the live market cost of this is but it's generally somewhere in that ballpark i think it's one of the more expensive ones I'm ever going to buy. I'm going to run that for so many weeks, probably a month or so, and we're just going to get, this is what one of those gives you. And, you know, yes, there's going to be ups and there's going to be downs based upon events that happen. I'm sure during Gold Rush, the Arcadia Underground probably had more, because I believe that occurs there. Um, but it's not going to be significantly different, I don't think. It might double it. But, you know, right now it looks like it's one peck per three days or so or something so anyways that's going to give you an idea of like what that is and how long it would take to double your money and how much i would take to get 10 ped you know because all of that matters you know i mean sure it's more efficient to take 100 ped and get 10 ped back in a year uh, but you may not be able to do that and if you were to do that you might be able to do that faster with instead of one deed maybe th 10 deeds of uh, Arcadia, the plant Arcadia, or the Arcadia moon deeds. Uh, maybe those would get you there faster. I, I don't know. We're going to test it. We're going to see what happens. I don't know how long that test is going to be. A lot of that's going to be, I, I kind of want to get to the same point. Um, and, you know, I'm going to end with Arcadia moon deeds because I hear you can go weeks without getting even a peck back in return. I don't know. I'm going to prove it to you one way or another. I'm only going to have one deed at a time, so it's going to be super easy to tell 
what I have, and it's going to be uh, what one deed gives you because I'm only going to have one of that one deed. So when I'm done testing the Arcadia Underground deed, I'm going to sell it and then take that and buy the next most expensive deed I want to test, which will probably be like Crystal Palace. And then that's the only deed I'm going to have. And then I'm going to sell that one. I'm going to get the next one. I may have to throw up some of my own money in it because I'm going to be losing money. I don't know. Or I won't be able to buy the next one. Or maybe I was wrong. And we'll just go from there. So anyways, I hope all this is super helpful. I hope you guys enjoy this. And thank you for watching. Um, keep her in that ped. And I'll see you guys next uh, Saturday. Bye.